So, this is a weird one. It's called The Ramp, and it's a skateboard game. And honestly, I was sold in the first couple of seconds I saw this game. I mean, just look at it. It looks so much fun. So I bought it. I watched the trailer for like five seconds, and I was like, hey, this looks fun. I'm gonna buy it. It was 20% off, so, you know, I only paid like 480 or something. And for that price, I was expecting, you know, a cool little indie game. Nothing too special, nothing too fancy. I really like the minimalist style, you know, the aesthetic of the game. So then I downloaded it, it was pretty quick, and played it. I played the tutorial first, because it's obligatory, and I noticed, well, it feels a little weird, not gonna lie. A little counterintuitive, the whole accelerating part is a little awkward in the beginning, not gonna lie. But after a couple of rounds on the tutorial ramp, it was alright, you get used to it pretty quick. So, after the tutorial, I unlocked all the maps, which is three, and I thought to myself, hmm, something feels off. But nonetheless, I just played the first map, and I played it, did some cool tricks, got a little more used to the controls, and like the accelerating and stuff, and I was generally kinda happy, you know, it felt cool, it felt good. I still very much like the aesthetic, and the gameplay mechanics themselves are rather okay. But after about 5 minutes I was like, hmm, is there more to this game? Am I gonna unlock something? Do I even have a score? I don't see a score. Then I was like, hmm, well, maybe it's like, I don't know, early access or something? Because it just felt kind of lackluster, you know, like an unfinished game. I felt like there's much more coming to this game. So I went back to the Steam page to have a look. Maybe it's early access, maybe, you know, I just didn't notice that. But no. On the Steam page, full price, full game, not early access. So I was like, hmm, that's a little disappointing. I thought there's more to this game. So I scrolled down, and then it hit me. It's not really a game. In the developer's own words, this is more like a digital toy. There's nothing to unlock, there's nothing to buy, no challenges, no helicopters, no explosions. Just skateboarding. So I took my disappointment, had a second look at the game, and was like, hmm, alright. I mean, I can get that. If it's just a toy the developer made, kinda for himself actually, to scratch a very specific itch, I can get that. I mean, you know, I bet some people really enjoy this kind of toy. It almost has like a browser game feel to it. Not because it was made crappy, like the quality is actually pretty good, but just because there's no goal, there's nothing. You can just sit down, do some cool tricks, drive around a bit, but that's it. No goals, no challenges, no nothing. And that made me feel kind of weird. Because on one hand, I was expecting more for the price, to be honest. When it's not on sale, it costs around 6 bucks. And for 6 bucks, I'm expecting more than just a sandbox without any goals, you know? But on the other hand, I mean the developer told us from the beginning what it is. And I was just kind of too dumb and too hype from the trailer to uh, yeah, read what he told us. So I hope with this video I can stop you from getting disappointed if you get this game. If you're like me and you just saw a cool skateboarding game and thought to yourself, hey, this looks cool, I wanna buy it, and then you buy it, you might be disappointed because it's not really a game. It's definitely more like a toy. But if you look at it for what it is, it's pretty nice. It's interesting, very unique in a way. For a simple digital toy, I think he did a great job. It was only one developer, by the way, so hats off to him. But yeah, if you want a game that's actually a game, with challenges or goals or at least a score, then this might not be for you. If you're looking for a little toy that you can play every now and then for like a couple of minutes and have some fun, just, you know, dig in, do some cool tricks, grind around, jump around, then this is definitely for you. This might be the scratch you were looking for. As I said, I really do like the aesthetics and the soundtrack is really cool. The soundtrack really suits the game well, or the toy. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. If not, uh, still, thank you for watching, I guess. And have a nice day. Goodbye.